Hi guys, it's Mitch here. I'm just coming on to do this week's Facebook card reveals for you all. So, if you were drawn to card one, we're going into the energy of the Three of Swords. Three of Swords keeps showing up for quite a lot of people at the moment. It's quite strange times that we're still in. A lot of people are still feeling lost. A lot of people are feeling grief, heartache, sorrow, depression, anxiety. All of these things are quite... Um, rife at the moment to be honest you know obviously with the stuff going on externally with the wars and things and threats of war and different stuff sad times it's a sad time in some ways it's an amazing time to be alive but for a lot of people particularly those that are sensitive and empathic it's quite a challenging it's quite a sad time and it just feels for a lot of us when are things going to recover when are things going to go back to a level of happiness a level of normality so if you're feeling like you're suppressed or you're in this energy at the moment it's holding space and having an awareness for it because we do need to acknowledge these feelings it's no good suppressing something because then it will just fester below the surface so it's having an awareness of this energy but it's trying not to be dictated and it's trying not to be robbed by this energy and if some of you are feeling a little bit heartbroken if you feel like you're just you know existing as opposed to living if maybe some of you are going through going through like a grieving process grieve in the way that serves and works for you because grief is such a personal journey it's such a personal experience so the way that you grieve will be different to me and to somebody else but do what is needed do what is required okay but know that there's light past these restrictions there's light past these darker times okay it's like i had a really good conversation with a client last night actually and they had a really good way of putting it because they felt very much in this energy through a depression and they sort of said even though it's it's hard work and it's it's horrible to have to experience this they know that on the flip side and underneath all of that stuff is this massive ball and this massive ray of light and it's a little bit like balancing scales some days this energy shows up but then there'll be a point in time where they work through stuff this will kind of go down and their light that sort of positive side will start to shine and will come to the surface and i think life is very much like that it is like a pair of balancing scales or like a seesaw motion almost um but if you are somebody that is sort of in this heavy energy or if you're feeling a bit numb at the moment that's another thing i'm getting a lot with people at the moment they just feel very robotic they feel like they're in this numb sort of space and time know that even through this you're still the doorkeeper of your own destiny and your own successes can be whatever you want them to be you know um, and it might be for some of you the success at the moment is just getting up of a morning making a drink that might be your success and if that is what your success is at this current stage in time celebrate that you showed up that you were brave enough to do that you know, for some of you, it might be more elaborate, more exaggerated things, but go gentle, go easy on yourself, because I think the thing is at the moment, so many of us are feeling suppressed, we're feeling burdened, we're feeling overwhelmed, and a lot of us are feeling like, God, same shit, different day, and only we as people can break the cycle, bring something new into your life. Add a little bit of something that you wouldn't normally get to do. Maybe keep a journal so that you can sort of lock some of your feelings and thoughts and emotions into a chapter, into a page, into a book. And at least then you're distributing, you're moving the energy on. So this in some ways, yes, it might be going on around you. It might be quite aggressive, but on some level, perhaps you're perhaps buying into this or allowing it to be more than it actually needs to be. So it's trying to catch the behaviour, the triggers of this before you're consumed. Because once we're in the sort of pinnacle of this energy, it's very hard to shift or move our focus. But go easy, be gentle on yourself if you are feeling a bit entrapped or a bit lost or a little bit consumed in, in heartache at the moment, okay? Now, as we're moving forward, we're going into card two. So if you've been drawn to card two, we're going into the Empress. The Empress is very much the mother card of the tarot, um, or the mother of the tarot, I should say. And she wants to nurture. Self-care is the key theme of message here, if you've been drawn to this card. Um, she knows that she has to go gentle. She has to go easy upon herself, not putting too many sort of pressures or... or burdens or anxieties upon herself and she's holding space she's creating sacred space this card represents fertility 
and this is also about creating something new. Now, this could be a physical life or it could be the birthing of something. So it could be for some of you, you're birthing projects, new ideas, perhaps wanting to take businesses to the next level or perhaps create a new business. It could be for some of you, you're wanting to harness or learn new skills or hobbies that might sort of become something a bit more in time. But it's all about creating something brand new and excelling blossoming with whatever you decide to sort of turn your hand to but she is pregnant in this card so also fertility is quite linked and it could be for some of you that there's physical fertility that you're going through maybe some of you are actually holding space or you currently are creating a new life around you um but it's about kind of glowing it's about being very present in this immediate space, doing what needs to be done and doing it to the best of your capabilities and recognising that. So there's a bit more of kind of comfort, nurturing, um, healing with this card, you know, whereas that first one was quite overwhelming. This is almost a little bit more flowy. So enjoy that for what it is. And as we're moving forward, we're going into card three. If you've been drawn to card three, we're going into the sun. The sun is wanting to bring everything back into life, everything back into reality. Excuse the siren going past, the joys of living in Trowbridge, um, or in a town, I should say. Um, the sun is all about happiness, positivity, new cycles, new changes, everything blossoming, everything growing. Literally, this is like light coming back into your life. Obviously, from a practical space, we've hit into March, we're into the springtime now, and we are starting to welcome back, although it doesn't feel like it today with the wet weather, but we are starting to welcome back the return of the physical sun. So this is about planting seeds of success. It's a new moon tonight, so it's a great time to start to plan and set your intentions moving forward, and then watch as they start to open up and they start to blossom as we move through certainly this month. Um, and see what sort of awaits you, see what happens. But the sun is healing, the sun is nurturing, the sun is wanting you to enjoy this immediate space. You might not have everything figured out, you might not have everything put in place, you might not have cracked the journey of life just yet, but it's knowing it's okay to not have to worry about that. It's okay to just be at peace with where you're currently at in your journey of, you know, things at the moment. So the sun is wanting to be a little bit more accommodating, a little bit more still, just embracing and being blessed with the immediate stuff that you have accessibility to. Sometimes we put so much pressure upon ourselves, we burn or we rob ourselves of what we truly have access to. So this is sort of remembering and seeing everything for what is truly accessible and available and certainly there at this moment in time. So I hope that you can make sense of this. I'm going to leave these cards with you. Stay safe, stay well, have a fantastic week ahead, guys, and I'll catch up with some of you lovelies very soon. Much love. Bye for now.